One thing that's troubling is it's a tough word. It's a tough term, mental illness. I think that mental illness is something that is extremely important and we need to talk about and we need to recognize. Today is Bell Let's Talk Day. The day is designed to raise awareness for mental illness and kind of eliminate that stigma that's attached to it. Hey, my name is Lacey Mesley. I'm a national records holder and IPL 2016 world champs in the 75 kilo class. I'm also a person with mental illness. I realized that I suffered with anxiety. This video is today to talk about um, my experience with depression and anxiety. And I live with anxiety and sometimes depression. Brady Johnston here, elite level power lifter, business owner. I live with uh, anxiety. Um, you'll never hear me say I suffer from anxiety. I live with it, it's part of my life. The thing is, is how I frame things is super important and it can seem like just a weight on me that I can't get off. You doubt yourself or you feel sad and you feel like you don't belong in certain places. I have tried to run or hide or not be that person with mental illness. There were times where I was in the hospital from trying to kill myself. Probably considering taking my own life. Uh, it was really tough. I've recovered from that. Uh, this video that I'm making for you is to show you that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Years ago I made the choice. I made the choice to admit that I had anxiety. I learned to have compassion for my whole self, both my light and my dark. And in doing so, I experienced acceptance. You have to go above and beyond that feeling inside you. You have to go above and beyond that dark hole. It's okay to reach out if you're not feeling normal, if you're not feeling like yourself. Asking for help was the best thing that I ever did. I reached out to some friends, some family, I got some help. And that's my bit of advice, is talk to people. It's not weak to re reach out and ask for help. It's not something that's a weakness at all. It's something that's extremely important and it could save your life. It could save other people's lives. It's okay to be vulnerable and to reach out to people. Um, no one's there to judge. Uh, you'll truly be surprised of how many people are out there and understand and are there to support and love and care for you. Because sometimes as simple as calling somebody, it cures a loneliness or a depression. Reaching out beyond myself, being around people that embolden me, that make me stronger. Reach out, reach out to friends and family, get the help you need. You're just not alone. Know that you're not alone. You're not alone. And know also that you're loved and you're part of this whole. I live with it. Um, I use it. I use it as a motivator. I grew into a wonderful, resilient human being because of that whole package, because of my mental illness. And in doing so, I experienced a strength I never knew I had. It's your choice to make. You can live with it, you can suffer from it, or you can ignore it. Um, living with it and making it part of your life and uh, and learning to cope with it, learning to use the tools in your toolbox. Um, we tend to battle a lot of these issues internally um, in our heads and it's really tough to get out of there sometimes. And one thing I always like to remember is that I've got a history of success. Whatever age you are, wherever you are in life, you've made it this far. So on Bell Let's Talk Day, um, let's talk about mental illness. Let's talk about your whole package, both your light and your dark. Let's talk about that real strength that you have because of your mental illness. Not something to look down on somebody about. Um, it's something that we just need to come together and it's okay, it's okay to talk about. It's okay to reach out for support. All right, family. Love you.